Hi everyone, it's Lonnie, and we're playing today. Probably a short video, just wanted to show you what I've been up to. Um, you saw me playing with my hot glue the other day, making seals. Um, well, you saw the seals, uh, the faux wax seals I was making out of hot glue. Well, since I did that video, I got my chrome pens. I'll show you them. I got these on Amazon. I think the company is called Let's Resin. It was a package of three chrome markers. Um, gold, silver, and bronze. Copper, I guess. And so I've been busy making things. And I actually ordered another seal a stamp set um, but today I thought I wanted to try well I was thinking about it the other night I tried this yesterday already but I wanted to try some more today um, I have these hearts move them over I have this mold silicone I bought it for making candies but we don't really eat candies a lot here so I thought I would try them with the hot glue um, you might be able to get some wax, or not wax, I keep calling it wax because it looks like wax when it's dried. You might have glue sticks that dry completely clear. I haven't found those, so I'm using what I have. Now, what I did find was that if I made a very flat... Like if I pressed it and I didn't put too much glue on and it was fairly, like, very thin, as thin as I could get it basically, then it would keep some of its see-through properties. And here I have put that hot glue down on a piece of paper. So what I did was just, I took some paper that I thought was interesting and then I took a whole punch, wouldn't have to be a circle, but generally that's how they, the glue comes out anyways, is in a, a blob and a circle is kind of easier to, I think it's easier, but if you have a heart punch, you might want to try that if you don't have a mold. But what I was thinking, that these might work. So what I did was, I know not everybody has molds either. The difference, the challenge with this one is to fill the mold up to the edge. Too. I struggle with bubbles in my glue and I heard that's because it's too hot but then I ordered some glue sticks that said they wouldn't bubble and they still seem to bubble so I don't know I guess it depends on how fussy you are you could probably try taking them out but now because that's hot and two this might work if I took my piece of paper there and kind of tried squishing it in. That might give me a better mold. I hadn't tried that yet. This is the first time. So we'll keep an eye on that. See how that works. I do have some ice. Let me go grab that. That will cool it down faster. Alright, so here's my ice pack. So there 
there's that. Then I'll just wait a few minutes to, oh, I know what I could show you. I made some colorful label. Um, I was playing with acrylics and stamps. And so I got these and I did it on label paper, which as you know, has a sticky backing. So I was thinking if I punched a hole out of here, yeah, punch a circle out of here. That would give us a sticky backing. So then, basically, if you wanted to attach it to something, you could, you know, use it like a sticker. So then, the way to do this would be, I gotta share. I have the single rows. May as well show you my new set that I got too, in case you wanna play. I, I had this one originally, it was a butterfly one and I've been using it for most everything. And it's quite heavy on its own, so it's a different quality than these. But this is my favorite, but they're quite pricey. So then I saw a set of, I don't know how many were in here. Seven. Um, I don't intend to use that one because it's a dream catcher, but anyways, I do like some of these. I have a couple favorites. Uh, one is the rose there, and the other one is the sunflower. And I guess my other favorite would be this one. And I think they're my favorites because they give me the best impression. So, I managed to get that off there. All right, so I'm just gonna let these cool and I'll show you why. All right, so hopefully, let me just get some of these out of the way here. Cool those off to the side. All right, so what I wanted to try was the sticky background. And I usually work on some parchment paper. Let's grab some book page for now. All right, so this is I think my favorite um, glue gun for this project. We'll see how it goes here. I'm just gonna hold it down with my and the way I do it is I just go around in a circle slowly. I just put down as much glue as I think I'm going to need for that circle. And it helps if you don't run out of glue. Alright, I'm going to say that's good for that one. Then I'm just going to grab one. My favorite from this set is probably the sunflower. 
and then I'm just going to press that down. Whoops, that came off really fast. So the impression is on there, but now I want it to harden and see if it stays see-through. Now I did switch um, glue stick brands. In fact, I'm starting to wonder if that's my biggest concern right now. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, as it hardens, it gets a different, it doesn't stay translucent or transparent. All right, let me see this one. And yes, I could use that one again. Okay, I will. And I'm going really flat on this one. We're trying. Some of the glue is sticking to the paper because I went. I went beyond the sticky paper, so that's no biggie. We can peel that off. Trim it. So Betsy Goodman on YouTube is kind of my um, inspiration for trying these different things. She's got a lot of shorts actually that um, show her doing these things. Alright, so I also wanted to try the heart. This one dry it. So there you go, you got the heart on top of a circle because I put that um, paper on top. And I did get a nice mold out of it. So then what I have to do is grab some more. Um, circles. And that's right, we wanted to try some sticky ones. So I'll just keep going with that. labels. I was going to start a new journal today, but kind of got sidetracked playing, but that's okay. All right, so here's what I was thinking. Because these have different shapes, I was thinking of the coldest one. I'm back. Sorry about that. Somehow my phone stopped recording. Try it again. All right, so basically what I did was um, try this one. I just put the glue in. Not too careful with it this time around because I'm going to add the paper. And then I can squish it in there. I just have to clean it off my fingers. I'll put it over here on the ice so it can cool down a little faster. All right, so while I have those cooling, I will see what I can do with, with the chrome pens on these other ones that we have made just now. I like all of them, but 
Okay, so I did find that if I put the paper on the mold like this, I got a better impression. So that means the uh, results with the chrome pens should also be a little more consistent. So I'm just trying to highlight the raised parts. And you can probably see these are the silver ones. There's a whole lot of things you can do with hot glue and a couple molds. Um, even if you don't have molds, there's things you could try. Like if you have dried flowers or even fresh flowers, you could squish them in there like that. I showed you a couple that I did. I haven't done too much because um, I don't know, I wasn't too thrilled with the results I did get so far, so. Um, I've seen Betsy try stamps. I think it was Betsy that I saw. Stamps meaning, not stamps, I was thinking feathers. I saw somebody put feathers in their impressions. All right, so again, this is the this is a circle, but it's a label, so this would actually be a sticker. And I've seen other people trim theirs to uh, whatever shape. So for me, I guess it's a circle because I want it to be acting like a sticker. So there's that. Now let's see how good. Try the copper, I think it's copper. It's waterproof, liquid, chromium. Anyways, the set of three wasn't too outrageously expensive. So, trying to find the raised part only. Now there's a couple dots, but they might not be raised enough to, yeah, they don't really, I mean, I can feel them with the pen, but they're not so sticking out that the pen will just get them and miss the rest. So... It's kind of messy, but that's that one. Um, this one might be a little better. I'm going to try. This one had a bit of a design to it as well. I know it's a lot of trial and error. This one has the dots on the outside. And maybe chocolate molds aren't exactly the right thing to use, but maybe you have other molds that would work better. I don't know. We use what we have and then we go from there, right? So, show you up close. That's that one. It's okay, it's, I mean, it could definitely add interest to a page. I'm not saying it's my favorite. And these chrome, chromium pens, they, uh, markers, they do take a little time to dry. So after I finish one, I just usually put it to the side and then try not to touch it for a while. I actually don't mind the whole thing being colored in because it looks, almost like a coin in the shape of a heart. Okay, so there's that. This one, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a better result. So let's try gold. It 
it's a sunflower on top of a flower and I can see the stamp on the paper behind it. Again, this will be a sticker, so I try to hold it with my fingers. I don't have a, you know, tweezers or whatever handy, so just try to keep my fingers out of the way of the pattern. Hope you can see that. Yeah, I do like that one. So, so far it's this one for the win. And of course I know my original butterfly one will... I'll show you a different color so you can get a... Well, that's the copper or bronze. That's the gold. And then I'll do this one in silver. it a bit if you can see it better. There. So that's the silver sunflower. And I don't know. This one was one of the ones I just did in the mold. And as I suspected, the shape doesn't really come out very much. I mean, it's there, but I guess you'd need a more finicky pen. This one has, if you can see that, it has a broad, like a flat tip to it. And you might need something finer to do the little intricate designs here. I don't usually do overly intricate things, so. And too, I've heard some people go over theirs twice to get more of a shine. That's actually not bad for what it is. So some of the molds I would say work better than others. And trial and error, you just gotta see what works. I do think this one with the sticker paper, actually that's not even sticker, that's just paper, got a really good impression even in the mold. So. Anyways, short and sweet for this one, and um, I hope you like some of these ideas, and uh, let me know if you're going to try some. And with that, I wish you a great day, be blessed, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.